TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me. You see it? Just a little slight warning just in case. You know, a lot of people out there are sensitive, so there's your warning. If you don't like it, get out. Um, Twitch.com, that's where you can catch a live stream. Username's at the bottom of the screen. We also got Patreon. We post seven times, seven to ten times a week. S series, movies, and Premier League. This is Wesley Winter, Ireland Rising. We, I mean, why Ireland won't be silenced. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. All the flags they've got here. And the, the Irish people are angry. They're angry at the government. A lot of people are saying they want their country back. Let's find out what that means. Illegal immigration has caused a lot of anger, especially in uh, low income areas where the immigrants are being put in, or uh, IPAS uh, centers are being uh, set up. So they're being brought in at night. The community's not. These are my people. Y'all yeah, gotta remember I'm part Irish. Being asked or being discussed. It's just been happening at night. And also a government that is sitting there who's we never elected this government. The last leader left, the tarnished left. So we have a, a tarnished that, that was not voted. Right. And a lot of people want to call for an election with 14 years of this government. Mm. And uh, we're, kind of, we're kind of sick of them. So uh, So would you say this is quite a political movement? They want a specific party to come into government? or No, we just want change. At the moment, it's, uh, we've been dominated by the far left. I feel like if it's Ireland, it's always political. There's always some type of political influence or significance to anything that's going on there uh it's kind of like an ultra left uh with their, with their views and now we were all being labeled as uh, racism and uh, bigots because we are concerned about what's happening in the country but it's not the immigrants it's the illegal immigrants a lot of the talk that I've been hearing is that we want our country back. What is happening to Ireland at the minute? Well, Ireland has been invaded under the guise of the government saying that um, we need to take in some refugees from the Ukraine and other war-torn countries to help them out. So it started, in, as far as we know, in 2020, but it has been happening in the last 20 years. Um, our population has risen in a million people from 4.4 million people 10 years ago to 5.5 million people. 10 years, a million people have grown and they're all foreign nationals. Of course, we have no problem helping and all the people coming from the Ukraine were our, our families that need help. But Nobody was given birth? So all million people in then 10 years was no new? Okay. But that's not what's happening at the moment. There are single, unvetted men coming between age 25 to 35 years of age without passports into Ireland. Yeah. Um, and they're coming in their hundreds of thousands. Um, it's not a hundred, few hundreds at the moment, it's thousands and thousands. There's crime like we've never seen it on our streets, in our local villages and towns. The future of my grandchildren is really in serious danger at the moment, very yeah. concerned. I think additionally to the Ukrainian refugees, Ireland has the biggest influx per capita of all the EU countries. Yeah. I mean, What's the strain that's put on, on Ireland itself at the minute? We, our resources are really, really um, struggling at the moment. Our healthcare, people who need healthcare or appointments can't get them. Um, mental health services are between two and five years waiting list for young adults. Young adults, um, five years for children to get any assessments in the mental health care. Um, you know, so that's really under strain. We have Five years for children to get any mental assessment? No, that's got to be capped. Five year, what? Come back. For young adults, young adults, um, five years for children to get any assessments in the mental health care. I don't believe it. She's waffling. It just sounds unbelievable. She might not be waffling, but it sounds unbelievable for a child to not get an assessment from, let's say, the age of five all the way to 10. Come on. Um, you know, so that's really under strain. We haven't got the ho the houses for these people. We haven't got. We have fourteen thousand Irish people um, living in homeless accommodation at the moment. Yeah. Uh, so we're already stretched. So it's more of a case of looking after your own first, yeah. then 
we need to look after our own first absolutely we of course want to help all families who need help and coming from war we have no problem we are not racist but yeah I mean how, how do you how do you feel after today it might be called a far-right rally or a racist rally what have you got to say to that I think it's disgraceful how dare they how dare they call me a 57 year old grandmother a uh, racist when I want to protect my four granddaughters uh, you know I want to protect these streets of Dublin for them or, or where they go to school or their, their religion and culture I want to protect it all we have a right to protect our own culture for us our own children for us you know so no I, I'm disgusted that they're calling us far right racist to cheek at them so yeah as I said earlier the walk into the, the Dal, which is the the government building not too much police presence is um it's been said from early on that this is going to be peaceful and I think it will there's lots of uh I feel like the tape I'm gonna say it <laughs> I was never outside saying any of this, but like, when people were making the argument that black lives mattered, also along with every other life, that message was misconstrued. You know what I'm saying? Same thing going on here, man. Messages are misconstrued. Media is blowing stuff out of proportion. People are taking, people are only hearing what they want to hear. It's craziness. Different age groups and people here. But they're, they're sitting in the road here, as you can see. But all different groups have come today, all different parts of Ireland. And it just shows how deeply it's affected the people and how united people feel about this issue. At the moment, this march really reminds me of the first one I went to back in London in Trafalgar Square. Can we all like be on the same page and be like, what? Like sometimes this does turn into something else. But like, there's nothing wrong with loving your country and loving being a patriarch and loving your people. But there is that group of people that take it too far. It's okay to love yourself without hating another person. And a lot of people be losing that notion. But I think the government is pushing people to, to like, dislike other people. <laughs> like, that's what it is, like, right now. Like, God, y'all doing this, that, and the third for this person, but we live here and can't get this. Man, I really, y'all making me dislike. That's what it feels like. Like, they're making y'all dislike. You know what I'm saying? You got to be careful. They're weaponizing your, your, your frustrations. So don't be a pawn in any of this. Go do this stuff the right way. Where people flying the flags peacefully, walking together. But as a walking, you can really feel the anger from all the different people. I feel like this has been going on for years and years in Ireland. And this isn't the first time they protest. Over a year ago, you had the huge riots, way before the ones that happened in England. And look at the numbers here today. What's the reason you're here today? Uh, just because the mass immigration into the country of illegal males into our country ruining it. Health system is in bits. No housing for the normal Irish people. They're bringing kids from Gaza over now to get operated on when Irish kids are lying in hospital scoliosis and like that. This country. I got, what am I, I'm watching, and I gotta remember, I'm part Irish, I was, I'm not lying when I say this, so, <laughs> like, it's, it's like, brother, I don't even think Gaza got a hospital, period, they're bogged down, I don't, alright. It's a joke, an absolute joke. It's all for everybody else and not the Irish. If they don't something for us or the normal people, it all change. Irish parents have to pay. Bro just said kids are being flown in from Gaza to get major surgeries. When for their children. When you bring up kids in that situation, it's like you're doing too much. I don't even think he thought that one out. But anyway. The normal people, it all changed. I, I, Irish parents have to pay for their children to go to college and university. And they, 
illegal immigrants and the Ukrainians are getting it for free. I'm a grandparent, I'm a concerned grandparent, and I'm just scared out. my risk for what's going to come ahead. None of us here hate any race. The problem is we're being overtaken. That's the problem. And they think no it's all right. That's what it is. No documents. We don't know who they are. Yeah. No one knows. I mean, Ireland has a population of 5 million and a million of those are, are no, yeah, not native immigrants. immigrants. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so within the next 10 years, our whole culture is going to change. You'll never have an Ireland again like this. And, and, and it's nothing to do with, look, you look at France, you look at anywhere else that have let them all in. They're all clamping down now. At the start of you have all the left saying, no, we need them, we need this, we need that. No, 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 you don't. Look after their fucking own people first yeah. and then do what you can for the rest of the world. Well, I mean, apparently over 80% are coming from Northern Ireland. How can you protect the borders at the minute? I, I don't even believe that anymore. I, I, I think they're just coming in on fucking planes. Right. I just think that it's gone to the stage where now they can build houses for them with no plan and permission. They can knock a factory that's been the factory for 50 years into accommodation for people. We won't do that for the Irish. We'll not do that for the Irish. They leave it on the streets. And it's all to do with, oh, it's, uh, it's all to do with the government just saying that. They build a mini houses? That's the first time I've seen that. They, this is real? It's been pushed through as the narrative of we have to. No, we don't have to. We don't have to have 2,000 extra male walking around air areas at night. We don't want that. You don't know who they are. You don't know where they come from. No, it's not acceptable. It's yeah. not safe. And have you guys seen any crime specifically in your in your areas? Because Look, we live in a high crime area probably, but we know everybody in our local area. And yeah. crime is everywhere. But the difference is you're looking at different types of crime now. You're looking at... Rape. abductions rapists through the roof man look at france if, if you if you read the statistics over there man countries gone to sh oh, and, and like, they, they, their own people have no rights in their own country now fed up fed up with it that's why we're all standing here today and you have a mixture of people from every from yeah it's, it's not just it's parents young people that's what i've noticed as well they call it far right and racist but then you yeah, see the all walks of life that do come yeah, here and yeah it's not yeah. far right and racist concerned grandparents concerned citizens are very that's exactly we were protesting up at john's and tala and we black people with us so it's not a racist thing that's not what it's about it's about an undocumented and their own people being left as second class citizens that's what it's all about so the irish loop i believe that it's about that for certain people but it, what, what other people are using this as a vehicle to get the other stuff off as well. Cause I, literally I will always hold that true. I will always think that. In the street here, you as you can see, you can't really see past the crowd. Not specifically here, but we've seen it in other places via Wesley. It goes on for quite a while. Everyone flying the Irish flags. They call themselves the Fighting Irish. They can see why. Wow. Irish children who line up at the streets at night. 14,000 homeless Irish. While our country has been flooded with unvetted, undocumented, military aged men. Just being around Dublin today, it is quite a multicultural area. And you can actually see some of the, the bystanders. I wonder what they make of it. But this is um, middle of the week, it's actually a Thursday, so people may be finishing work. But wow, it is really causing the scene. Jeez, look at the people. Okay, it seems like there's a counter protest on this side. Here we see a different kind of a uh, different kind of a uh, crowd here. Oh, it's about to kick off. Okay, here we go. They're gonna they're gonna Palestine. Palestine protest. Different kind of crowd here. Oh, he's squirting water. Okay. So yeah, there's always going to be a counter protest. And this is what's happening here. Oh, they say he's got his kids. Oh, 
Cristo é Like I just see it too much hate in some people's eyes. Like all of these people's eyes, like that are yelling and screaming. I just see the hate. You know what I'm saying? I keep torpedoes off my streets. Guys, what do you make of all of this? Ah, oh, it's a big load of shit. Why don't they take them into the whole home sin if they care? They probably live in the countryside and not one of them near them. Well, the Chinese refugees are welcome here. But yeah, as you've seen, the majority are against them. How you doing, mate? Hi, boys. Hi. <laughs> You can see how passionate the Irish get. We the people of Europe demand an answer. So move on to the door. Like it's okay to be angry. I see a lot of anger, but I do see like a hate in people's face. Like I don't like don't be taking my what I'm saying and be like, oh yeah, you did it. No, you don't see the hate. <laughs> Not his face, but before. It was a lady that, that walked past and her cousin looked like it might be her father. <laughs> like, But that's neither here nor there. But, uh, yeah, it was just a lot of hate in her face. Wow, so we haven't seen this before in a protest. If you look here, they're actually being followed by the police truck. Wow, really different to what we've seen in another protest. How does it make you feel getting called fascist and far right? Sorry? How does it make you feel when they say you're far right and fascist? Oh, well, see, well, well, I tell you, that they're, not, they're wrong because um, I don't believe in far right or far left or anything like that. What I believe in is that the preferential treatment that has been shown to all the immigrants that's coming in here over the Irish people, and that doesn't make us racist because we speak out. It makes us frustrated at the government yeah. for what their actions and what they're doing. Right. And they're putting um, foreign nationals, refugees, um, IPAS people um, before those and giving them preferential treatment. And that's what makes the Irish nationals frustrated. Yeah. No, we're not racist. Do, do, do you think the legal... I can understand that, sir. Americans themselves are putting a strain on, say, the, the funds, for example, to support homelessness, the Irish absolutely. homeless. Like the, the amount of money that's been spent is absolutely colossal on uh, accommodation, building, buying uh, buildings. Like, if you look at the likes of Crown Paints, uh, Paul Collins, got cool out, 8 yeah. million, and then uh, Ron Call, uh, Christopher Collins, and you know, all these buildings that they're buying in hotels. But you could also argue they do have the funds you've seen with the, the bike shed, over 300,000 I think was spent it was, on that. It was, 300, it was 335,000 to build a bike shed for 12 bikes. Mm. Now, my God, you build a house for less than that. And that could have gone to the homeless, that could have probably helped them. Well, you know, I meet so many homeless, Irish homeless on the streets, and my heart goes out and I wouldn't buy past them. With the, you know, if I have a fiver or something, you know, I'll give it to them, sure, and because... I'm not gonna lie, I seen a homeless person today, he asked me for a dollar. Didn't say hello, didn't say nothing. I said, yeah, absolutely not. You could be homeless, you could be down on your luck, but you can always be uh, respectful. Say hello, how you doing? Good morning, good evening. Like, don't just come at me like that. He said, yo, hey, hey, yo, yo. I You talking to me? He said, yeah, can I get a dollar? I said, bro, bro, stop. You can get some, a prayer. Feel me? Oh, I had to fix the internet. With the, you know, if I have a fiver or something, you know, I'll give it to them, sure. And because I was homeless before. I was homeless in London, I was homeless in Dublin. So I know what it's like, and I'm terminally ill. I'm saying though, like I give like I give homeless people money all the time, but like don't, it's just, don't ask, don't just do it like you just like I owe it to you. Like you don't gotta say hello or how you doing, or you know what I'm saying. At the moment, oh. and um, I'm a liver transplant patient, 
and I haven't got long left to live. But yeah, I still believe in my country. I love my country. I love my heritage. I love our culture. You know, and all that has been taken away. So that's, you know, that says it all for me, pal. You know? Appreciate the words, mate. Legend. Mate. Hey, cheers. Yeah, I hope you're all right, man. Fucking oh. hell. Oh, cheers, 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 cheers. cheers. Okay, so we've gotten away from the counter protest. I don't think that'll be the last they'll see of them. But as we continue walking, let's see what else people have to say. But yeah, these protests do get really heated once you go in them and you feel the energy of them. It is like a pressure cooker. And that's what we're experiencing at the moment. But you can see how passionate Irish people are on both sides. But wow, let's keep going. Hey guys, we're documenting the event. Do you mind saying a few words? You want to say a few words, Jen? Oh, oh, yeah, she's Ireland is full, sweetheart. Yeah. Ireland is full, darling. We, 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 we are here protesting for our children and our future generations. Mm. We're not far right, and if you want to call us that. right so far. Yes, exactly. As you can see, we just. We're not far right, we're just right so far past the lefties i've never i'm actually shocked i'm going to take off my glasses because i was shocked <laughs> yeah. at the aggressiveness and the oh it's just actually scary to yeah. see how many I mean, people are well i mean left or right if you come to a protest i don't think you should be covering your face if you want to send a message and, and, and giving the fingers and that type of abuse they were given like i yeah. i just stood there in shock i was actually shocked the two people that i had seen giving the finger was not intimidated or shocked or anything. Bro had a sweater tied around his waist. I'm not. Anyway, I'm. That's not even the point. But no, we are not. We are for. If you come into the country legally, happily, like we all have to do if we travel around yeah. the world, guys. But this did. under uh, the, this this pro, uh, influx of people we have, we can't walk around our streets safe. So yeah, yeah we're here to, for. Our, I'm here for my son and his his children. Yeah. Do well, know? well, I've. I've seen that, or I've also read that over 70% of Irish people agree that immigration is an issue. Would you say the majority of the people in Ireland agree? Like, I think a lot of the majority agree, but I think there's still a lot of pro-immigration uh, because there are a lot of people watching mainstream media. Yeah. If you look, BBC is actually covering more of our our what's going on in Ireland than the, uh, the RTE news is. Okay. So it'll be interesting to see what way the documentary comes out tonight at 9 o'clock and what way we're... Perceived. Wow. It's interesting in Ireland how the police are actually trying to block this side. Usually it's the other way around. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't too long of a war, but they made it to basically the parliament building but there's a big barrier so people can't get through it's a safety issue bro just so you know it's not about race this is about a safety issue there's lots of pedophiles and race getting in the child children being um, abduct abducted all over the place yeah. that's what it's about i'd also argue that they're also you know criminals in our own society like our own have criminals yeah. too yeah we have enough of our own door here enough there's enough pedophiles enough scumbags we don't need anymore what seems to have what seems to have happened to be honest with you to, to equate the statistics of the amount of attacks it seems to be like someone in african countries opened up the jails and released all the storm they're ignoring the attacks ignoring the people african countries well, the children being abducted they're ignoring the women being stabbed they're ignoring the beheadings three gay men and, and, and down in the country we have no problem with uh, limited immigration within reason and logical thinking you know and, but yeah. not to bring in the whole world ireland's only a small country we can't house the whole world it's just yeah. ridiculous thinking you know they have to go the government ireland is very small and i heard they have the most immigrant like migrants come in there i heard that though they have to go yeah i mean you can look at the population i think ireland has a, a smooth argument <laughs> like we are tiny. What are y'all doing? <laughs> but why do you think they are coming to Ireland? I mean, they come from, from England to Northern because Ireland and to Ireland. Basically, they're showing out the crumbs to the boards and everyone else is coming to follow them, you know? It's just to put in a, to, 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 to coin a phrase, like for better words. Like, they're sending out a signal, there's free benefits and free houses for all. Right, so Roger will go on retreat in 12 languages, right? That everyone's welcome from all around the world, no matter who you are, you'll be given a house, your own front door house, and your own welfare and, and whatever. And you won't be required to work, but yet the Irish people, there's over 100, and, oh, I think there's over 140 and 120,000 Irish people homeless. So during the, the worst homeless crisis we have, these people, uh, this government, this traitorous government are inviting in people and giving them homes, but ignoring their own people. You gotta understand though, there's a, there's, I, I stand by this, there's different kinds of homeless. And one one dip, one kind like one kind in particular will ruin it for everybody. And I'm pretty sure you know what kind I'm talking about.
I'm talking about a certain kind of homeless person will ruin it for all the other homeless person people who actually like want to start over, want to get job, want to re- re- redo their life, like want to get help. Like I said that in the last video, man. And I recently watched a documentary where, like, I heard the government in the UK, not not Ireland, I'm talking about, like, like the UK over, like, not Ireland, you know what I'm saying, um, that they tried all of this before. They tried to give it to the working class and houses and benefits and all of this, but it's, it didn't work. Something went wrong. Get yours and they need to go. Get them out! 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 Wow, look at this guy. Get them out! Get them out! Get them out! Get them out! Of all the protests we've seen, this is the first time I've really seen people go to the government buildings. And I've said this for the past couple of videos, this is where we should be going. And this is what the Irish are doing today. What's the reason for going to the government building and not, say, staying in the high street? Um, basically the pressure they're putting the Irish people under in the last three, four years maybe now. Uh, mass immigration into the country, the hospitals are full, the schools are full, our kids can't get their doctor's appointments, they can't get skilled places. Um, the country is crazy. Kids can't get a doctor's appointment though. So that lady wasn't just waffling. It really came as a kid? In dire straits at the minute, and we need this government gone because they're not working for the Irish people, they're working for the EU, they're working for the puppet masters, and we want them out of here. We want the referendum. So, is, is this really political at the minute? We saw the counter protests. Are they supportive of this government? They're supportive of the government, believe it or not. Believe it or not, it's absolutely crazy. So, what is the change you do want to see? Who should come into power? What, what is it? We want the we want the nationalist government. That's what we want. Independent nationalist government. Or if all the parties can come together and form a party, that'll do. But, but in England, we've heard it, in England as well. You've heard it all the time in England, where they've said they're going to do this and that. How can you trust the government, the new government? Yeah, because part of the government would be the people here that you see protesting. They're all there's loads of independent TDs and councillors running here. You know what I mean? We had Kevin Coyle running out an airplane. Missed out by 70 votes. Bet Sinn Fein in the area. Bet everybody else. I don't believe any politician will do what they say they do. They tell you whatever they want to hear to get in the office, and then they just start doing whatever. Whatever. There's always somebody higher up pulling the strings. You can never operate and do what you want to do as a politician. So just you can hang all of this up. <laughs> It sound good. It sound good when a lot of stuff is going wrong. Oh, we want to put somebody else, but that somebody else is going to be doing some bull, some other type of BS. If it ain't this, it's going to be something else. It's really in the area. Over a thousand forced preference votes. Um, so Kev's running again in the the general elections now. Hopefully, we're just waiting for these absolute traitors to call a date for it, and we can get them out of here finally. Well, a lot of people are saying that the police are going to kettle them in here, so they want to start moving. We are just at the door. What would you say the main message was there? I would think that the main message was that they don't want to listen to us. They don't care what we have to say. They don't care about what's best for us. And they are completely working in opposition to us. Otherwise, why would they close off all the gates and not listen to people What's if they're the representatives of the people? Right, right. But it's very different compared to England where people are calling, yes, stop the illegal migrants, whereas additionally you guys are saying change the government as well. Mm -hmm. See, we don't have any problem with like legal migration. We don't care about anybody who's here that's living peacefully, that lives among us. We have friends from different countries. Um, and we we have no problem with that. It's the, the, it's the government that's allowing this illegal, unvetted, ideologies that come here that are very different from the way that we live mm. and it's not safe for women and children as we've seen in the UK in Germany in Sweden in Ireland everywhere I've been hearing this phrase Ireland is full what does that mean in a sense it means that so when we say we're full it's that our services are full our hospitals are full our schools are full some of our children couldn't get places in school this year my own child in his own local school there's only one um, mixed school say and he didn't want to go to a uh, all-male school sure. 
and we were I was told that there's only so many spaces and first of all um, diversity kids have to be picked then the Ukrainian children will be picked and then the local Irish children whose parents were born and reared and probably their uncles the brothers their sisters went to this school yeah over generations are put into a lottery system for the remaining places say the Irish people are eventually what? <laughs> that is that sounds insane Ireland is bugging out right now that's insane I'm in the lottery system are you out of your mind no, nah, I'd be mad too. Like at this point now, now the now now the future of my my the future. You mess with the future. You look crazy. That's wild. I understand the diversity. Like the diversity hires and the diversity picks always go first. Salute. <laughs> but how many diversity picks are there? I'm just curious. Now that's a question. A question mark. I'm not being sarcastic or anything. And then how many, like, to be left up for lottery is insane. She looked off, though. Would you guys be welcome into refugees from other countries? If the services were there in the Irish, which we were, we have been. Up until 2004, integration was working quite well. I ran a hip-hop school where I have every child from every culture in it. I went Nigerian, Congo, Chinese, everybody was there. The integration was working. But what's happening now is that there are children in schools in Dublin, Irish children in schools, who feel like they are the odd one out in their class. Right. They're being told that they're not allowed to practice communion or confirmation, which has been a tradition in this country. I myself took my son out of Catholic religion because I don't but I also told my son it's part and parcel of our culture and that must be respected, which it is not. Yeah, so besides the counter process that we saw earlier, I'd say this one has been really, really peaceful. And there hasn't been that much of a police presence. We saw it a little bit at the beginning, but so far, I feel like the Irish people have been trusted and they know it was going to be peaceful, which is really interesting to see. And we're marching in the city centre and nothing's really kicked off, to be fair. <laughs> Okay, so it seems like most of the people have congregated now on this bridge. As you can see, there's some passers-by. But they're, they're blocking off the road. It's quite difficult for buses to get through. Okay, it seems like a left there. Seems like, seems like someone's getting taken away there. Someone from the left, as they say. He's getting, he's getting uh, pushed away into a, well, wow, straight into the, into the police car. That's something we don't see very often. People call like two-tier police at these protests, but I feel like they've tried to protect uh, this side a lot, especially when it's, when it has been very peaceful. And off he goes in the car. This lad here. Looks like he seems to be very angry. Excuse me. I'm telling you. That's a film. Probably. <laughs> yeah. no, you're not allowed to do that. Like, look at this. It seemed like the woman was attacked, and as more police started to arrive, I managed to speak with Bod Trotter, who runs his own channel helping the homeless in Ireland and sees firsthand the issues people have spoken about. It's the people who live in the town centre. I see, I live in town, I see this absolute, how disgusting it is every day, how the Irish homeless, how badly they're treated, while everyone else gets, gets all these, give, given basically everything. So that these people who, are, who play a big role in running this country live in the more affluent areas, the Greystones, the, where, where uh, the Harris lives, Greystones, Kalini, Darkey, they haven't seen this. They probably won't vote against any of this because it hasn't reached them yet, but it's going to. Uh, they'll be getting it soon enough, uh, but until it affects people, until people actually see what's happening and it affects their neighbourhood, they're not going to care about it, they're not going to vote. That's normal. That's normal stuff. Unless it's affecting their neighbourhood, they will act like it do not exist. That's what anything. anything. Any different because uh, it doesn't affect them. But as soon as it does, it'll be too late. Um, we won't have a vote. The, the amount of asylum seekers we take in will be taken as voters. They will vote for the parties that will keep them here, that will keep uh, expanding their numbers, letting them through customs without passports. They're the people who they, they will vote for. Take our bridge back, 
to call for a referendum on mass migration. There's thousands of people. And I'm not mad at this. Because I agree. They do matter. <laughs> But he's, I'm pretty sure he means also matter, like, well, like well, everybody else, does they matter? I'm not mad at that. To call for a referendum on mass migration. There's thousands of people marching in Ireland for and against. Obviously, there's a problem. The problem is because the government have this whole thing up and they need to get rid of. We're not leaving without a referendum. We're sitting here until we get a referendum. If the Gardaí want to attack us, we're going to remain peaceful. We're going to go lie on the ground. Let them attack us and let them show what they are. Politically aligned scumbags attacking peaceful people. But when they attack us, or if they attack us, folks, they have to go back. Isn't sitting in the police, isn't sitting in the, in the, in the street, like laying there and not moving for traffic, isn't that a breach of the peace? Yes or no? Is that a breach of the peace or no? You can't say you're doing something peacefully when you're breaching the peace, literally, by law. I'm not. I'm just pointing that out. I just wanted to point it out. And I, I, like peaceful protests, fine, cool, but like don't contradict yourself at the same time. Blocking traffic and not moving is literally a breach of the peace. It's, it's an arrestable offense, ain't it? To our communities. I just be like, I like pointing. Bringing stuff the boys out. in blue, as you can see. As more police arrived, the situation unfolded exactly as many had anticipated. But you're against the people. You're all against the people. Every single one of you. You should be ashamed of your life. Someone's been arrested. Well, back again. Take two. Everyone has a right to peace protest. We all have 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 a right to peace protest. We're going to keep the zero on the left and push it back. Oh, you're bad, aren't you? Hey! Hey! Oh, something's happening. Let's keep it up. They're arresting someone. Oh. Tensions are rising now. Stand alone! Stand alone! People starting to throw stuff. Stand alone! I mean, there's a long way back they have to go. It goes all the way down there to the spire. But... This man's trying to get through with his bike. I'm just trying to all deliver his delivery order. I get it. That man's still down on the ground. He's got a few officers over him. Yeah, I don't know where they're meant to go because they're just going to keep going further and further down this road. Maybe they're just trying to clear the bridge. Yeah, I believe he said they were trying to clear the bridge. Slowly, 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 slowly. That's one thing I've noticed at the moment. The Irish, they don't get pushed over very easily. That's for sure. And this is a peaceful protest, man. Yeah, they say how many arrests are made, innit? That's it. You know what I mean? Well, that's what they want. They want to make us look so bad. And this is a peaceful protest. And they're, they're you know what I mean? They're putting more anger us against the police now. Oh, two women have been arrested. Wow. All the things dropped. I don't know what they did. Okay, they're telling them to move. Yeah. Wow, guys, look at this. We're grabbing this man. He only had a phone. I don't know. They're taking them to the van. Oh, they're telling everyone to move back. Yeah, they're, they're just arresting people randomly now. I feel like if they're giving them a lawful order to get out of the street, like, it's a breach of the peace, right? That's what they're going. That's what they're going to charge them with, probably. I mean, they've cleared the bridge. They're taking them to those vans. 
This is uh, slowly starting to look like what happened in London. They're just choosing the amount, getting arrested. They're taking them to the van, as you see, just down there. I don't know if you can see it. There's some fans. And it has been peaceful. I don't really, I don't think it was violent at all. The only kind of... Uh, I see a lot of faces being covered at this point. Kerfuffle that we saw was earlier on when there was like a counter protest. But yeah, I guess this is just like being aggressive, like aggressive crowd control. And yeah, the Irish people walk into the, to the spire. Wow, look at these old ladies over here. The same. Slowly walking. Surely they're not going to arrest the elderly. There must be a 50 plus. Uh, there seems to be more of a divide now as the protesters are going further back and now away from the bridge. Tell you, one thing the Irish going to do is have fun. All right, so they're moving them further, further down. Whoa, they've got someone. Oh, bloody hell, they've got this guy in blue. Oh, no. Five officers on him to take his hat. Oh, they're pushing this. Whoa, his shoes have come off and everything. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been given a direction under Section 8 of the Criminal Justice Public Order Act. You are directed to leave the area in a peaceful and orderly manner. Failure to comply with that direction will result in your arrest before the... Yeah, see, I knew it. I knew it. They're giving them the order to leave the area and get out the... And now if you don't listen, that's breach of the peace. You're gone. You may be subject to a fine or a term of imprisonment. Please step back and forth with the guard of This is getting heated, guys. This is getting really heated. They're getting, they're getting faster. They're getting faster and faster. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Fucking slap at a fucking... Wow. Doesn't matter. The Irish police, English police, all the same. They must have made like over, t over 10 arrests now. Guys, I'm keeping my distance. I won't get arrested. <laughs> I'll make sure of it. How dare you, You're a plaza. Is the counter protest? There must be at least a good 50 along this along this row. But this one lady is giving the middle finger. Are you going to arrest her for trying to antagonize us? We're going to sign back and see what happens. The interesting about this is people waiting to go home on the bus. I don't think they can actually get the bus. I'd be so but pissed if I didn't. The police are trying to go home. patrolling this area as you go further, further back. I've seen the protest today. It was very peaceful. What do you make yeah. of all of this? Uh, it's coming to a point now where it's just like not enough people getting up and doing something about it. Like we should. I asked for. I, I was one of the first people to the gates of the government buildings today, and I asked peacefully for a representative of the government that we elected and put in there to come out and address the people who they are meant to represent. Uh, the guard sergeant walked in, and we've been met with this. That was my response from the government. This beaten back and. It's, it's too too pleasing. The agenda, it's, it's the government, it's just something has to happen. I don't know what we're going to do to change it, but we've been beaten into submission and I wept for the first time in about 30 years up at those gates. I wept for, for fear of my children and my grandchildren. And I'm going to still weep until something's done. Is, it, is this how most protests end? The police kind of tell the people to go in home? Ireland, yeah, they wait till the major, they wait till the main body of the group goes home. And then they just get the smallest group and they just corral you in and disperse you. Yeah. It's tactics, police tactics. Once again, we witnessed the police being heavy handed with the public. Although I couldn't quite make out what was said by those who were arrested, it was clear that this protest had taken a turn for the worse. Speaking with Irish people, it was clear they were left feeling frustrated and disappointed. Even as the crowds dispersed, arrests were still being made. This man's been 
Ja ne uvijek. police photographer he's been in almost every picture this guy right here he's always there all right guys and end the video where i started it and yeah what a day it turned sour in the end you saw the amount of rest that happened it was very peaceful i'd say it took a turn for the worse i think the police were calling for people to disperse and they kind of acted yeah. upon that and started arresting people who are in the way I think but yeah this is Ireland this was Dublin I'll see you for the next one and no surprise these were the headlines after the protest offering no context about who was actually arrested it just goes to show how little information is provided to the public if we don't see things for ourselves yeah, you know how the media get man they're going to put some pictures, put a headline that's captivating, no matter if it's true or not, and they're going to draw you in for views. Now you're going to go click their channels, you're going to go click their... They're going to do it, man. They're going to do it every time.